Hey guys, I created a very dramatic black smoky eye with a hint of burgundy and warm tones. To begin this dramatic smoky eye, I am using a very opaque concealer as an eyeshadow primer and I'm putting that in with a sponge and then I am setting it with a very small amount of translucent powder. And the first shade I am going in with is Universal. It is a beautiful orange brown tone and this will be my transition shade. I am using the JH30 and I will be blending this in circular windshield wiper motions for about five minutes. Next, I will be going in with the JH34 with this beautiful medium peachy brown shade called Spice. And I will keep this in my crease and right above my crease, blending out in circular motions. Um, I'm really making sure this color is blended out very well, creating a very warm gradient effect in my crease. Then I will be going in with the JH40, which is this amazing, small, precise blending brush that I feel like everybody should own. And I'm using the shade Chestnut, which is a reddish plum matte brown shade. And it comes off pretty burgundy, which is very nice whenever you're using blacks and browns. And I am focusing this into my eye fold in that crease. And I am just gonna blend this out and bring it up and this is just gonna give it that hint of burgundy or red tones, which will go very well with black and brown. I am going in with that makeup brush that I love so much, the JH40, and I will be using this shade in the zone, which is a warm burgundy brown matte shade, and I'm putting this directly into my crease, right into my eye fold, and this is going to be the perfect color to transition those brown shades into the black. So I am just really blending this out right into my eye fold. Then with the Real Techniques blending brush, I will be packing on the black shade Wiz. I really wish that I went in with a dark black base. You can use like an eyeliner, you can use um, like a gel eyeliner paint pot, or you can use like a, just a black base. Pretty much um, the opaque concealer that I had primed my eyes with kind of shows through this shadow. This is a very black eyeshadow, but it just would have looked so much better if you use a black base. And of course, when applying this black eyeshadow, always begin with a light hand and begin close to the eyelash line in the center. And then you're just gonna pack. Don't brush it around because then you're gonna cause some fallout. It's gonna get on your cheek. Um, it can be very messy and of course with black smoky eyes the product never looks good until you have the eyeliner and the false lashes on um, just really kind of have to believe that the smoky eye is going to work out in the end it always looks kind of messy and sloppy when you're in the middle of doing it
And then with the brush shown, I will blend out the shade Chestnut into my lash line, like right where the hairs are growing. And I will slowly add pigment. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade in the zone with a more precise um, blending brush. I believe that is the E40, that brush I love so much. And I will just blend it out on the side and blend it out below. And this is really gonna help make your top lid not look so like top lid heavy. And then of course this look got pretty messy and so I will take a sponge with some translucent powder and I will just create a line. Next I will be going in with some liquid eyeliner by e.l.f. and this is what's really going to help pull the whole eye look together. I am also really defining my inner eye duct with the black eyeliner. Next, I will be defining my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 Pro Vision Eyeliner. Then top it off with some L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and some Ardell Demi Wispies. And that concludes my dramatic smoky eye. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.